Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you Ice Maker. Hi guys, so an Ice Maker. Um, what this is, is um, we was trying to make this in our Let's Play, and some people have asked, oh, sorry, did you make the ice? So we thought we'd show you. Um, and this will actually be used to cool our reactor down if it gets too hot. We'll just stick yeah. ice in it. So you need cobblestone at either side, redstone, piston, and an iron pickaxe will make the block breaker. If you put uh, coal and sand in the furnace, you'll make a silicon bowl. Eight coal, eight sand. Yeah. Um, has to be. And then, uh, you want to get the silicon bowl out and then put that next to a diamond and saw, we'll make the silicon wafer. You put the silicon wafer into the alloy furnace with a redstone and that will make a red dot wafer. Yeah, and that's one wafer to four redstone. Oh yeah, sorry, I was... it's okay. I like to keep my resources safe. And that okay. should make that. Red dubbed wafer. And you got the stuff to make the um, ingot Ross. Yes. You need the red dubbed wafer for the uh, filter, which is cobblestone across the top. Cobblestone there, there, gold there, and a gold ingot there, and a piston in the middle. We'll make the uh, filter. And I'm actually showing the thing here, Ross. Iron. Ah, yes. So, so that's one iron ingot to four redstone, and this will actually make um, your red alloy ingot. And you need three of them. Yeah. And this will actually make 12 wires. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, compressor. Stand across the sides, machine block in the middle, circuit at the bottom, we'll make the compressor. And you have a clock upgrade. Um, we have actually got eight of these in ours. Um, because ours is using medium voltage. Transform and upgrade. Transform upgrade. Glass across um, the top. You need to put the transform upgrade uh, actually in the machine before you actually put the power uh, connected to it or you will actually blow up your actual um, compressor. So just be wary of that. That's a stone anode. Redstone with a stone wafer will make a stone wire. And a stone wafer is easy to make, you just put it in the fern put stone in the furnace. Yeah, in any furnace and, and it should stone, just Yeah. Yeah. Stone wafer at the bottom, red stone torch in the middle, stone at the top, we'll make the stone pointer. Stone wafer underneath a red stone torch, we'll make the stone cathode. It's for the timer actually. Yeah, and the NOR gate, you need some of these things in. Yeah. So this is the NOR gate now. I seem to have three in the middle for some reason. There you go. Brass ingots either side and a glass in the middle will make eight pneumatic tubes. Okay. So I was going to show you how to make the brass now, I think. No, I haven't got, an, have I got enough copper. I might have. You need four, uh, three pieces of copper. Ah, okay. And just, so is it one tin? One tin, three pieces of copper, and that will make four pieces of brass in the alloy furnace. There we go. So, did you want to show them this? Okay, let's go through it first. Um, okay, so here's our little snowman, and to actually get him into there to work, you will actually need to make it like this because there's no other way. Um, it does seem to work if you. So, if you were. Uh, I'll show you anyway. Um, so, we've got our block breaker. Oh, shit. Oops, uh, two. No, that's a filter. Okay. Okay, so we've got our block breaker. And don't do that, you might burn it. Uh, well, melt him. And then you build the glass up like this. Ah, yes. No, oh, sorry, Dave. You put the snow in the middle. You put a piece of glass there and you don't glass there. And you're going to have to put um, his head on, which is a pumpkin. So that's uh, two snow blocks and a pumpkin will make him. Um, if you're doing this outside, you will actually need to put a block on top so it actually um, melt from the rain. And you don't actually work in a desert, um, because they don't like deserts. Now, this is what I'm talking about. If you build up like this, all the way, it, there seems to be a bit of a bug where he doesn't actually respawn his, his snow underneath him. So, you just have to knock out the corners and build them like that. And that, and that, should, be, that should work then. Yeah. Okay, so you've got your block breaker, and this is going to pump the snow from underneath him. And every time it pumps, it'll actually respawn more, so you keep pumping and pumping. 
and pneumatic tube into a chest. Um, you do not have to have the chest there if you don't want to put we like the hard chest. Uh, filter here. And this pumps into the top of the compressor. And it's important it pumps into the top of the compressor. Because if it pumps in any other side, it will not actually go into the slot it's meant to. And it won't work. It's another filter. And this actually pumps, will pump into the reactor. Yeah. Or and into a chest. Yeah. But that's the chest. But this is going to be where our reactor would be. This is, this is the end product. It will actually pump into the reactor. But we've got chest for just for show. And uh, red alloy wire, you will actually need them onto the actual side of these, onto the um, filters. And you need them on this filter as well, and the block breaker. And um, this is our MFE. We've got MFE, but it's made in voltage. So to sort out the problem with that, so that our compressor don't blow, is what we had to do was disconnect the power, go, in, go into our compressor, and put two transformer upgrades in. Yeah. It's important you do this before you connect the power. So then you connect the power. Or if you didn't do the transformer upgrades and then you connect the power, your compressor would actually blow up. So just make sure you put the transformer upgrades in first. Then this is our pointer, not our pointer, our timer. And this is going to give a continuous pulse. Now if you right click on this, you can actually change the intervals of the pulse to make it quicker or slower, oh, yes. depending. Um, so that's, that's, that's for that. And this is our NOR gate, and what this does is it inverts the red, redstone signal. So we've got our wire there to actually point to it. You do not actually need this, but this is just in case you want to um, connect a light up to here. Um, I'm just going to... I haven't got no lights at the moment, but I'll just get one in my house. Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll have blue for, for this purpose. So what this does is when you turn it on, you can actually do it this way, so you connect up a light so you know it's on. If you're in your house, and this is like by your reactor. So when you turn it on, the light will come on and it should all work. Um, and that's, it. that's how it works, so we'll just have a look at this working. See, the lights come on. Oh, yes. So it's on. So what this does, it pumps, pumps the block from underneath here and turns it into a snowball. Then that pumps it into the top of the compressor, which is made in voltage, so it's got eight overclockers. And as you can see, it makes ice. And then this pumps out the ice. And then the ice should go into your reactor. This chest is gonna. This chest is acting as our reactor. This chest is like, hey, I'm a reactor. It's really so, cool. Yeah, it's cool. So that's um, that's it then. Ross? Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you.